and look at this shit show. In this video, I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna head out onto YouTube and react to sub for sub live streams. Yes, they are a thing, and yes, they are that cringy. All right, so let's go ahead and search for sub for sub live and see what these idiots are up to. Now, these things shouldn't even exist on YouTube, but they always seem to be out here at any given time. You can search for one, and you'll always find a handful of lives. Now, I like to think that YouTube is out there finding these and deleting these, but they're out there with such frequency. Who knows? In this case, they're using a night bot to highlight certain channels. They have channels across the bottom of the screen, but I want to show the more egregious ones that are just a big old tile. There we go. Look at this menagerie. This is a collection of people who are apparently too lazy to figure out how YouTube actually works and they're looking for the easiest way to grow a YouTube channel. And uh, this is one of the easiest and sleaziest ways to do that, but this doesn't do anything for your channel. Even if all these other <laughs> dimwits subscribe to your channel, it's not going to do anything to help your channel grow. I mean, maybe you can go back to high school and tell your friends that you have a bigger YouTube channel, but it's not going to do anything. And look at this show in the description of this video. They talk up here. They use this little line. They're not violating any rules. Uh, sub for subs against the rules, but then they do all this stuff, which is obviously showing people how to show love to other channels in a sub for sub manner. And then look at this absolute disaster. This is basically keyword stuffing in your description, which is strictly prohibited and identified as such by YouTube in their terms of service. So when these channels go out and they say, oh, we're not violating any rules, even though they're encouraging small channels to sub to each other and they are stuffing keywords into their description, they are breaking all kinds of rules. Plus, they are sending every one of these YouTube channels on here down the path of destruction, and it's very unlikely that many of them are going to survive. Even if they wisen up and stop doing this, uh, it is continue going to continue to harm their channel uh, as they try to have a legitimate channel. Just uh, sending a little message to these guys to uh, send them in the right direction while they still have some hope, but uh, for a lot of them, it's probably too late. This is the uh, fastest way to fail on YouTube for sure. Let's check out another one here. Same kind of deal as the first one we saw. They are highlighting channels across the bottom of the screen uh, while doing gaming. This is just like, you know, I'm going to play games all day and maybe somehow grow my channel by helping other people sub for sub more of that keyword stuffing in their description and this is like a whole society of failures here on youtube because if you look down at the bottom they are using word for word the exact message that they think is helping uh them skirt the rules this is kind of like sovereign citizens i cannot cooperate with tyranny sir what are you planning on doing if i don't you know so-called cooperate you gonna break my window or something i'm not in I'm not in your city. I'm not in your state. I can't be in it. It's impossible. I'm a man created in the image of God. I'm on it. I was. I came from it. Uh, claiming that they have rules they don't have to follow uh, in the United States of America because of some document that somebody posted on the internet. That's simply not the case. You do have to abide by YouTube terms of service. Every one of these live streams absolutely violates that. And they're highlighting, they're using automation to highlight channels in the comments just an absolute shit show and hey if you want to learn how to grow on youtube the right way that means learning what it takes to make a successful youtube channel to give content the audience actually wants to watch and keep coming back to then think about subscribing to the channel clicking the bell and turning on mobile notifications so you're alerted to future content and if it's not my channel Go find another channel that shares real information on how to do this the right way. Sub for sub live streams and all of those other tactics that trade attention for attention are not the right way. Hey, don't let the learning stop here. Click on the video on screen now to learn even more about the right way to do things here on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.